Right, hello everybody, what is going on? Today I'm here with a very quick, very simple tutorial. This is how to make a gaming thumbnail, very minimalistic, but still professional looking. It's something quick that does the job, you know, you don't you don't have the time for too much effort, but you still want something that looks really good. So here we go, we're good, we're gonna get straight into it. Here, there, where should I, where should I put myself? There, nothing important happens down here, does it? All right, so you're gonna create new project right there. Make sure that the dimensions are 1280 by 720. Call it whatever you want, I don't know. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, background contents, it can be anything because you're gonna replace the background anyways. I'll just leave it as transparent. Landscape, obviously. Uh, yeah, that's, you've got this. You, you've got it, you know, what you, you know what I'm talking about. Right, so now you've got a blank screen here. You can do Alt scroll to zoom in and out. And uh, I'm gonna drag in just a screenshot from uh, Siege right here to use as practice. There we go, click enter. I'm gonna hit Control T for transform, drag it. I'm gonna drag right here so that it fills the screen. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit, enter. There we go, boom. Now it's a bit dark, I'm gonna lighten it up a bit. Hit Control M to bring up some curves. Right, let's see what looks good. Um, you know what, I'm happy with that. Yeah, let's go. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to isolate between foreground and background. What do we want the foreground to be? What do we want to pop out? Right, we're going to go up over here. We're going to click this quick selection. And if it's not there, you hold down and um, yeah, just select quick selection. And then you're going to drag around what you want to be the foreground. Like so, if you accidentally go over, you can hold Alt and then erase the selection. Like so, I'm going to drag it down here as well. All right, now you've got that, you're gonna hit Control J to bring that onto a new layer. And if you look down here, I click the eyeball to hide the layer underneath. We've isolated the foreground. I'm just gonna go to Eraser over here. And just, uh, that's a very small eraser. Go up here, make the size bigger. And uh, just smooth things out. You know what, I might, uh, uh, Alt scroll, zoom in. I might just get rid of some of this, you know? Uh, all right, let's go lasso. I'm gonna select that and I'll hit Control J to copy it. I'm gonna go up here to move it and I'm going to cover that right okay now I'm going to hide this as well so I'm just going to get the paint right here and then select the same color as this like so I'm going to make the paint a bit uh, larger but softer and just paint over it there we go right select the background again now we're going to deselect the foreground so we're just left with the background we're going to go up to filter Ooh, we're going to make sure that the background's actually selected. We'll go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We're going to blur that thing. Blur it, right? Uh, four pixels, seems good. And I'll reactivate the foreground. As you can see, we've got a lovely background blur. Lovely, looks great. Now, we're going to go up to this background here. Um, I've kind of like got it in two separate layers because the paint and not the paint. So, we're going to highlight them two. We are going to right click. We are going to, where is it? Merge layers so that it's all one thing. There we go. Now we're going to double click to bring up the layer styles. Uh, let's add a bit of a stroke to it. Not the kind that your nan gets. Sorry, was that insensitive? Um, okay, we've got a bit of a stroke. Drop shadow. There we go. Beautiful. Ashy. Not so beautiful. That's pretty ugly. Let's get rid of that. Um, just a drop shadow. Yeah, just a drop shadow. Should we make that white? What does it look like when it's white? Um, what does it look like without? Literally no difference. Do I even want to have um, thingy this effect? No, I don't. I've changed my mind. Let's go out of glow. Want some out of glow? Uh, why is it orange? Change it to white. There we go. That's a lot milder. Off, on. Nice. I like it. Right now, uh, I feel like this center isn't taking up enough of the frame, so I'm gonna click this, shift click this, control T. Ooh, smart filters, whatever. Okay, cool. And then I'm just gonna. Turn it, I'm gonna make it even bigger. Not that big, that's what she said. Right now, let's add some text. We're gonna create a new layer. Go to the T right here. We're gonna click. Right, uh, we're gonna type, I don't know, um, best. Right, that's gonna be one thing. Control T, move that. Right, and then create a new text layer. Call it moments. I don't know, right? I don't know. Control T, rotate, make it bigger. Let's just. There we go. Now that is the ugliest text I've ever seen. So we're going to go to best, right? We're going to go to. Where are we going to go? 
called property use. We're going to change the change the font. So what font do I want? We want. Um, ooh, what was I just on right there? That one actually looks good. Ooh, Coco Goose. Right, we're going to go Coco Goose. By the way, top tip right here, have just like a bunch of fonts. Just go on to font.com and just get like every font that you think looks hot or decent because they will come in handy. Trust me. Best moments. There we go. Ooh, that's going to get cut up a lot. I wish I'd left more space on this side now, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We survive. We adapt. We overcome. That's a dead meme. I'm sorry. Move the moments a bit higher. Move the best a bit higher. Rotate it so that they're parallel exactly. Make the best a lot bigger so that it stands out. Okay, right. We're going to move the moments to be behind the front layer. So now it's hidden. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Best. We're going to change the color of that. Double click that. Double click that. I am still recording. Oh, that would have been heartbreaking. Gradient overlay. Um, yeah, I'm liking the look of that blue actually. Yeah, so gradient you can just click on these switches and change the switches, swatches, I don't know, and then change the color of them. But I'm loving this gradient that it's already on. So now we're going to go to moments and double click that, and we're going to change that to be white, not that. So there's gradient overlay. There we go. Best moments we're going to change that. So this is going to be pure white, this is going to be darker white there we go how do we like that pretty good i'm going to change it to linear though and then i'm going to change the angle so that's going from up to down uh, there we go best moments yeah in hindsight i should have um rescaled the picture so that the foreground is more on the left so i've got more space on the right right i'm gonna click that Let, okay let's see what what uh we can put on this drop shadow no outer glow yes but change that to black yes that's what i like to see right moments double click that okay let's go drop shadow that's not it outer glow that's the one change that from a white to a black actually no the white looks good the white looks good hmm could i make it better absolutely but will it get the job done maybe best so let's make that a bit bigger by then using control t for all of this best i kind of like the, the end of the moments being behind the foreground though so i'm just gonna best moments there we go i'm gonna change this around a bit you know what let's make it a dark red that looks pretty cool best double click outer glow let's change the color of that as well oh you know what i'm vibing with that that's not too bad that best moments there we have it there you go ladies and gents and now hmm what if i don't want a text i want a picture over there instead oh well i got you brother i got you now let's drag this picture in lovely picture of me look at that that's pretty old okay we're gonna go back to quick select we're gonna outline myself right there why i've got a subscribe button on the wall i am a sad child right Control j to bring on a new layer delete the old one there we go isolated myself why did i do that um I'm just gonna control J, um, reposition, click, hit enter, drag it to below layer two. There we go, and um, make it even bigger. There we go, and then get rid of the best and the moments. This is just if you want to do something different, you know. I'm giving you options. I'm I'm out here giving you options, right? This can be whatever picture you want it to be. And I'll just double click that. And I'm gonna go not pattern overlay, outer glow. There we go. I'm gonna make that a solid black. There we go. Opacity pretty high. And uh, yeah, that is option two of what you could do. But I'm gonna go back to the text and say that that's that. You are very well done. And see you later.